The Hawkeyes should start the season with a win, regardless of who's playing quarterback. Iowa is a 25-point favorite against Utah State. However, Hawk fans sure want to see Cade McNamara behind center. Let's bring in John Sears for more. The biggest question mark for the Hawkeyes in week one is the health of quarterback Cade McNamara, who missed the last two weeks of practice with a leg injury. The senior is listed as QB1 on the depth chart, and he plans on playing. But the decision isn't up to him. He's been practicing. I can't, I can't put a percentage on where he's at right now. Uh, he's been cleared medically. That's the good news. Uh, then the thing we have to judge as we go along is how effective can he be and you know, can he go out and perform uh, in a way that's representative of the kind of player he is. And honestly, I'm just progressing every single day. I'm feeling a lot better. And uh, really, I'm just really excited to get out there with my teammates. And, you know, we've prepared really well this week so far. Yeah, he's a confident guy for sure. And that, that confidence, yeah, like you're saying, is to everyone. We're all out there when we're on offense. Uh, we're ready to go just because we know we have a, a commander who's confident in us and confidence in his abilities in the offense and be able to make the right play. So it gets us juiced up for sure. I know what he wants to do. I know how he's wired. And that, that's part of our job, just to be smart about it. And um, you know, it's it's tricky. It's always tricky. So, the, really, what it boils down to, in my opinion, is you know, can he can he play effectively? Uh, and then, second thing is, yeah, to your point, like, is, is that going to knock him out for three weeks if he does play? So, you know, we just have to be smart about that. It still, comes down to what the doctors and the trainers feel. If they feel that it, it's safe for me to play, then I'm going to play. The Iowa offense should be much improved from last year, and reality is, it has to be if the Hawkeyes plan on making a run at a Big Ten West title. It all starts with McNamara under center. In Iowa City, John Sears, WHO 13 Sports. Utah State Aggies and the Hawkeyes Saturday from sold out Kinnick Stadium. Like Hawkeye fans, Cyclone fans have also heard enough about sports gambling and look forward to some actual football. Mark Freund has more from Ames. It's been an interesting offseason for Iowa State football. Lots of talking points, particularly within the last month. Gambling, quarterbacks, coming off a 4-8 and eight season, it goes on. But the Cyclones are ready to put it all behind them and just play. Hey, it's ecstatic. Uh, I'm so excited, you know, just to be able to run out there and see the crowd, all of us around, like, you know, as a family running out there, like, being able to play with each other, like, against someone else, not just ourselves. So it's going to be fun. Yeah, I mean, we've been working so hard since January so just everything being able to go out there on Saturday and be able to compete against a great team it's exciting. We're going into this season as the headhunters and we're going to do that. No one's going to just give us the nod here and so I'm excited because we have a young hungry group as a whole offense and defense and we're ready to just go out there and show what we can do. I think <laughs> till you get out under those lights and till you play the sport of football um, you know, you just don't know what you have until you, until you get out there and see it. But the foundation, the roots of this group, it's really special. Iowa State's quarterback situation is no clearer now than it was when Hunter Deckers stepped away from the team. Rocco Becht or J.J. Cole are listed as QB1. Matt Campbell said Tuesday that he feels like nobody has separated, so expect playing time from both guys and maybe even Tanner Hughes as well. At Jack Trice Stadium, Mark Freund, WHO 13 Sports. The UNI Panthers and Cyclones at 1 p.m.